And we're following news out of Mercer County this noon as everything is back to normal after Grove City College was put on lockdown earlier this morning. But police are still looking for a suspect in an armed robbery near the campus. WKBN First News reporter Jeff Liff Coolidge is in Grove City and has been following the story all morning long. Jeff, what have you learned? Good afternoon, Greta. Everything is back to normal here on the Grove City College campus after it was placed on lockdown around 7 o'clock this morning. Now, here's what happened. About 6.30 outside of town, there was an armed robbery at a business. State police were called in. They chased the men to uh, the center of Grove City around uh, Main and Center Street. And that's where one of the men threw out a gun. They then left on foot, got out, started running across the campus. One of the men was tackled on campus and arrested. The other man is at large. Now, the campus lockdown was lifted around 9.45 this morning, but uh, classes resumed around 11.30. However, the convocation address, which was scheduled to take place this morning, was canceled for today. As an abundance of caution, we thought it important to postpone that until a later date when our new incoming president will be delivering his first formal address. Now that convocation is, has been rescheduled for Thursday at 9 a.m. It's going to be at the Harbison Chapel. Their new president, Grove City's new president, Paul McNulty, uh, he is the ninth president for the college. He is expected to speak. Of course, we'll have more on the incident itself and more on how the college responded to this morning's uh, uh, armed robbery and chase coming up tonight on First News at 5 and 6. But for now, reporting live, I'M JEFF LEFT COOLIDGE FOR WKBN 27 FIRST NEWS.